I could probably build it myself in like 10 minutes and I suck at mock building. So a new Lego Star Wars set got revealed the other day and I think it's about to take the crown of the weakest and probably worst Lego Star Wars set of all time and that unfortunately is Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. Now I'm pretty sure I'm with a lot of people when I say that everyone really had high hopes for this set thinking it was going to be some like really cool I guess like Mustafar battle from the show probably like the season finale or something like that. Um, turns out it's from the battle that probably shouldn't be made in an eight and up Lego set um, from like episode three. So that sucks. Now when I first saw this set, much like a lot of people, it was a really blurry image and even then I was really disappointed and then the higher quality images came out and I was even more disappointed. To me, this set looks like a frisbee and I was looking at it and I thought to myself, you know what, I could build that. Like my mock skills really aren't that great. It's like sort of bare minimum, like we're trying to improve and I looked at this set and I wanted to try and build it myself so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> So last night I jumped out of bed with a pretty rapid haste and started sorting through my parts collection to just pull out every single like dark grey and light bluish grey slope I could find, a bunch of plates, a couple of other bricks, and just try and replicate this set to the best of my abilities. I tried to find as many pieces that accurately match the images that I was sort of looking at so that I could try and create, I guess, the most accurate set because wait, if you didn't think the set was bad enough, wait till I tell you about the price point. Ho 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 ho. Oh, the price. And honestly, the price is the worst aspect of this set because with the recent LEGO price increases, this set is now sitting at a recommended retail price of 50 US dollars and 80 Australian. And with that price point, if I was to buy that set and even just like buy one of these minifigure packs at its current retail price, getting the black display cabinet behind me that is the IKEA Billy bookcase in the color white would be cheaper than the LEGO that I would be putting on it, which is not good at all. Now price aside, just the design of this set feels really lackluster. In fact, here are some of my favorite comments from Lego's own comment section about this set. Starting off, we have my mood exactly. Wow, a gray floor. This one's my mood entirely. I could make a mock better than that SMH. You're literally paying 10 pounds each for a figure. I could buy so many chicken nuggets for $50. I'm not a great builder, but I would be too embarrassed to post it if I made this. And you're selling this for that price? Wow, wasn't aware the standards had dropped this far. Well, they have. Why that thing on the right look like an old school pencil sharpener? Dude's got a point. Wow, that looks awful. Fun fact, this set is just as much fun as being dragged through burning debris. But this one's my favorite. Bro, this is insane. I can't believe they took inspiration from something I built when I was three. Literally best set of all time. <laughs> Yes, I really do think this looks like a great frisbee. In fact, I think you could probably play frisbee with it knowing sort of like, I guess, Lego's structural standards for their sets. Firstly, the scene itself, I feel like is very violent for an eight and up Lego set. I personally don't have a problem with like Lego making, I guess, things from like violent movies or whatever. But for Lego to market this as eight and up sort of, I guess it has me like scratching my head a little bit. I sort of confused as to why they didn't do it as like 12 and up or 14 and up, especially given the fact that they like canceled like things like the Crooks hideout and the Osprey and then like just the comments that they've made about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows like not being a thing. Anyway. All that aside, this set is just depressing. I mean, you can literally burn Obi-Wan's face off, so that's fun, I guess. But all of the pieces in general just look really plain. Like, there is nothing special about this set at all besides the minifigures. And that, I think, is the only positive, at least just looking at these images. It's a great way to get Darth Vader with arm printing cheaply, which is fantastic. I love the Obi-Wan figure. I love the droid. I also love Tala. They all look amazing and they're all unique and really interesting. But I can't fathom spending 80 Australian dollars on that set. That's like roughly, I guess like $20 a minifigure because all of the pieces are just so generic. The build is boring. It doesn't look like a fun play set. It doesn't even look good as a display set and I can make it myself for far cheaper. So earlier today, I pulled out all of the pieces that I pulled out onto my desk and just started to try and build things. Now, the last time I feel like I had a case like this with Star Wars is when I first saw the Mandalorians and one Starfighter and I just looked at that lightsaber and I couldn't get over the fact of how sad it was. And I just impulsively made my own one afternoon. And I, th I feel like that's exactly what I did with this set because I was just like, look, I don't want this. I don't need this. This set is just like so sad that I feel like I could do it myself with 
my really bad building and mock skills and I, I could then that's the really sad part about this I mean it's definitely not exactly accurate because I don't have all of the pieces that I feel like this set has in my collection but for the most part I could pretty much build this entire scene and get the idea I guess of this set across in like a build that took me like 20 minutes in total like it really did not take me that much time at all like this build to me is just like a giant gray slab with like as many trans orange cheese slopes as you could possibly find. Like this is essentially what this build is to me. It's so disappointing. Like the fact that you can't even use it for parts and it being the price point that it is with these new prices. Like I'm sure a lot of people probably agree with me on this. Like it just feels disappointing. Like we could have got something better or something different from the show. I would have loved to have seen something I guess from the final episode or another type of ship or even another hallway scene like the dark trooper attack from episode four I feel like that would have been fantastic another set I feel like people talk about a lot would be like potentially having like a Django starship instead similarly to like Boba Fett's starship which I definitely agree with it would have gone lovely with the Obi-Wan starfighter and it just feels like this slot well, I guess it just had so much potential and has been almost wasted in a way the best part about this is the minifigures and being able to get them for cheap but even then it's not that cheap I feel like to benefit. Which that was the only part of the mock that I feel like I couldn't get completely accurate, but we tried and I hope you like my attempt. So here is my finished version of Obi-Wan vs Darth Vader on a very, very small budget. Firstly, I pulled out my, I guess, duplicate of arm printing Darth Vader. Uh, I don't really have Obi-Wan in his robes or any form of, I guess, orange mullet. So I just grabbed my burnt Obi-Wan from the Jewel on Mustafa set, which is also kind of accurate considering you've got the burn marks and he's been rolling around in fire. So that's fun. For my droid, I just turned the face round of the hazmat suit CMF figure, and honestly, it works pretty well. The other option would be, I guess, like the series 21, 22, like yellow robot. I can't remember what series that was. You could also use him if you, again, are rolling on a budget. And then I don't really have an Imperial officer, um, so I've just grabbed this figure from Solo. Um, it can double as an Imperial officer if the clones can double, um, so can she. So, that works too. Now if I had accurate plate usage and really didn't have to build this up on a base plate, I feel like it would work a lot better. Overall, building this, I realized how small this set's gonna be in terms of width and it, it just made me even more sad and then I guess it maybe it's a tiny bit deeper. This one doesn't have any plea features which honestly probably should be accurate for the set itself considering I feel like this is a scene that very much suits like the 18 and up and I guess like older kids sort of demographic a little bit better considering the violence in this scene. But overall if you really want this scene for some reason it's easier just to make this yourself. Just buy a bunch of grey slopes. It's very simple, very basic. Don't spend 50 US dollars on this set if you really want to. It's up for pre-order and I'll leave affiliate links in the description but I, I genuinely don't know um, what you would do but I kind of want to get the set at the same time to see if I can like rebuild it into something else or upgrade it and just make it look a little bit better but I also don't want to spend my money on it so I guess if this video gets like 60,000 views or something maybe I'll buy it. But yeah, I hope you like my mock and all of its angles. Um, I This is so much easier and cheaper than buying the actual set. Honestly, that set's going to be a shelf warmer. So just hold off because it's definitely going to go on sale because I don't think anyone wants to buy it. And then you can buy it for the minifigures. I'm certainly going to try and buy the minifigures. I guess I'm not desperate for Vader considering they didn't redo his eyes like they did on the box, which is quite unfortunate. I've already got him. Maybe I'll get Obi-Wan. Don't really care too much about the droid or Tala. I mean, Tala's face would be kind of cool, but besides that, um, it's just, it's just a great frisbee. That's all this set is. So I guess if you're a fan of rocks, um, or trans orange pieces, this set is for you. Otherwise, just build a mock like this. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So if you think my build is just as good as Lego set, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And like I said, if this video hits 60,000, I will go and unfortunately purchase this set so I can try and improve it somehow because it's just really disappointing. <laughs>